Hi and welcome. In this section we'll learn how to create a payments app. We'll learn how to create a mock-up UI for look and feel. Create a QR code for coffee shop products. Use the Firebase ML kit to detect QR codes. Set up the camera for QR code scanning and use the block pattern to manage state changes. In this video we're going to create a mock-up UI for app look and feel. In the previous video we created an app to order our drink. Once we arrive at the coffee shop we see some merchandise that we'd like to buy and the items are marked with a QR code. So we need to create an application to scan those QR codes. In this video we're going to create the mock-up UI which will include a tab bar for switching between the scanner and QR code generator setting up the form widget to enter the product details and installing and using the QR Flutter plugin to generate QR codes. And at the end of the video the application will look like this. We'll start off with creating a new project. I remove the homepage stateful widget and then set up a tab bar inside the stateless widget. I'm just going to have two tabs, one from the scanner and one for the QR code generator and then set up a scaffold for the child. And at the bottom of the app bar we can add our tab bar. And I'll add tab icons for both the scanner and QR code generator. And give the app bar a title. And inside the scaffold body I'll add the tab bar view. And reload the app. And we've got the initial part set up with just our scanner and our QR code generator tabs set up. So the next step is to create the scan widget which is just going to have a box representing the camera preview and a camera button which will be the image capture button. This will be a stateful widget. And the scanner is going to consist of a camera preview which will be a square box and underneath that there will be the capture button. So I'll use a column widget for that. And I'll use a decorated box to represent the camera preview. And underneath that I'll add the camera icon capture button. Now we can call this scan bar widget from inside the main tab bar view. And reload the app. OK, I'm going to have to set some dimensions for our camera preview box. So I'll wrap the decorated box inside a container where I can set some dimensions. And I'll put that inside a fitted box to apply the box fit, fit width. And I'll also apply an overflow box and some clipping as well which should support the camera preview display. We'll center the alignment. And I will need to place that inside another container. And I'll also increase the size of the camera capture button. Now I'll create a widget for creating our QR code. It's going to be a stateful widget. And this widget's going to include both the form and underneath the form it will display the actual QR code. So I'll put the two of those inside a column. I'll now create a widget for the product form. And this can be a stateless widget. And I'll add a property for the category. The categories can represent product ID D or price or product name and initialize that inside the constructor. I will need to remove the const from the constructor and then I need to add some properties for the form key and the text editing controller. 
Now we can add the form widget. And the form will consist of a text form field with a submit button next to it. So I'll use a row widget to contain those two and create the text form widget first. And set up a valid data in case there's nothing inside our form. And wrap the text form widget inside a flexible widget. And under the text form field, we'll put our button. Now we're going to create a widget to control which category of the product form gets loaded. And this is going to be a stateful widget. And for the mockup UI, I'm just going to have it return one form with the category ID. Now we can call this widget from inside the create widget. And we can also add the create tab to our tab bar view inside the main file. And reload the app. And as you can see, the form above is now being displayed. So the next step is just to display the QR code. We're going to use the QR Flutter plugin to display the QR code. So we need to install that. And I'll create a new widget for the QR code. I'm going to make this a stateless widget. And I will need to import the QR Flutter plugin. And now I can return the QR image. I'm just going to set some default text for the data. I'll just select the text hello. And give the QR image a size of 300. And load the QR code image from inside the create widget. And do a hot reload. And as you can see, the QR code is being displayed. I just want to center that a bit more to make it easier to scan. So I'm just going to add some padding around that. And this completes the mockup UI. Here we have the create widget, which you just enter in the data to create your QR code. And then across here, we'll have the scanner. Up above will be the preview. And down below will be the capture button to actually capture our QR codes. And let's also run this on the iOS simulator. And as you can see, we've got the iOS version of the application. We learned that the mockup UI is convenient for establishing the initial app architecture. The QR Flutter plugin is also convenient to use for mockup UIs. And that the tab bar and form widgets are also convenient to use for mockup UIs.